what kind of work uh, do do you know, like of your deaf friends, what kinds of jobs do they do? A huge variety. Um, quite a high percentage of deaf people work um, at Kelsey Deaf Education Centre. Um, to call uh, Tuckle Real is the new name of it. So lots of deaf people with practical jobs like um, mechanics, there's chefs, there's also of course um, because of sign language, lots of sign language tutors. There's a huge variety of work that these people do. I was doing really well, I achieved and I was ready to do level five, uh, doing a bachelor of nursing. And um, there was an open day. And one of the lecturers there said she was in the nursing department. And um, so I was really excited and I asked all these questions and, and it was the most awful response back that just made me feel like a failure in front of this entire interview of people. She said, are you deaf? No, sorry, you can't be in this course. You can't be a nurse. That's it, that's it, right? We don't want you, is what she said, in front of Together, a lot of people at this open day. It was just the most blunt and awful discriminatory response. And I've heard of other people who are deaf that have trained to become nurses. So in Australia, uh, in America, in France, so in other countries. So I think New Zealand's a little bit behind the eight ball on that front. So I contacted the Human Rights Commission and asked for some support, so I had a big discussion with them. And also I met with the head of the nursing department and we had a discussion with her. And um, we were looking for those catchwords for discrimination and I got a letter which actually had that information that I could then give on to the Human Rights Commission. Um, and unfortunately, the Human Rights Commission said, sorry, we can't move this forward because the Human Rights Commission said that the Council of Nursing was above and beyond where they could um, um, make their opinions known. So unfortunately, there was nothing I could do. I tried to find another way, but in the end, I had to give up on that dream.